Okay, the next section is looking at dividing fractions. I want to just give you a brief intro as to what we're doing when we're dividing fractions. Let's say, for example, I've got 2 divided by a half. And what that's asking me is how many halves go into 2. So let's think about a number line that goes from 0 up to 2. There's 0, there's 1, there's 2. How many halves can I get in there? Well, here, that's my first half. Then I've got another half, then I've got another half, and then I've got another half. So dividing by a half is going to be the same as multiplying by 2. I've got four halves in here. So 2 divided by a half is the same as 2 multiplied by 2. And we can think of that about that as 2 multiplied by 2 over 1. So here there's something really important about flipping your fractions over and this fraction 2 over 1 is called my reciprocal and we're going to have a look at how we use that. So to divide by a fraction we multiply by the reciprocal and the reciprocal is that fraction turned upside down. So people often remember this as keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction to find the reciprocal, and change the divide to a times. So let's just annotate that. So keep refers to our first, flip refers to our second, and change means divide becomes a times. So let's have a look. So for this first one, my first example. I keep my first fraction, which is going to be 3 fifths. I flip my second fraction, becomes 2 over 1. And I change my divide to a times. And then we go exactly as we did in the previous lesson. 3 times 2 gives me 6. 5 times 1 gives me 5. 6 out of 5. I've got a top-heavy fraction, so I need to convert it to a mixed number. 5 goes into 6 once, remainder 1. Gives me 1 and 1 fifth. The second one is a bit more complicated. I'm dividing by 2. Well, remember, exactly as before, if we've got a whole number, we can just write it as a fraction over 1. So again, I keep my first fraction. I flip my second and I change my divide to a times. 3 times 1 gives me 3. 4 times 2 gives me 8. That's already in its simplest form. It's not top-heavy. I can leave that answer as it is. Again, 12 divided by 2 thirds. So here, I'm going to write that as 12 over 1. I'm going to rewrite the first fraction going to give me 12 over 1. Flip my second, it's going to give me 3 over 2. Change my divide to a times. 12 times 3 is going to give me 36. Over 1 times 2, which is 2. 36 over 2 is the same as 18 over 1, which is just 18. The last one is the more complicated of them. I've got 2 thirds divided by 1 and 4 fifth. So first thing I need to do is change that to an improper fraction. So it's 2 thirds divided by 1 times 5 is 5, add 4, which is 9, divided by 9 over 5. Now I'm going to need to do my keep flip change, which is 2 thirds the 9 over 5 becomes 5 over 9, and it becomes a times. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 9 is 27, give me my answer of 10 over 27. Okay, pause the video, make sure you've got those works examples written down, and then you can try some questions yourself. Alright, here's 9 questions for you to do. For the first ones, you are simply going to be using keep, flip, change, to um, change them into multiplications, doing the multiplication, check that you can sim whether or not you can simplify and whether or not you've got top-heavy answers. Um, 
For the second lot, remember, whole numbers um, are going to need to be written as fractions out of 1. If your answer ends up with a fraction out of 1, change it back to a whole number. For the last lot, remember, before you do anything, you're going to need to change it to an improper fraction, and then do keep flip change after you've done that. Pause the video now, write down the questions and have a go at them, and then we'll look at some answers shortly. Okay, so here are your nine solutions. Do just make sure that you've given them in their simplified form and that any improper fractions are written as mixed numbers. Okay, give yourself a mark out of nine. If you need any further assistance on that topic, please take a look at Hegarty number 70. Well done.